Hello everybody, Peter here today with a new unboxing of a TP-Link router. This is the AX1500. This is a Wi-Fi 6 router. So this is the latest spec when it comes to Wi-Fi. Even though not many devices are supporting it now, lots of them are going to roll out in the future, so it's a great addition, especially if you're buying a router now and you want to future-proof yourself because you don't want to change the router every now and then. So this is a really cheap router for Wi-Fi 6. I've paid like 40 euros, even less, I think like 37 for it. You can do the math in dollars, it's like 50, close to 50. So what does this router bring? It brings a really cool design. It looks gamerish, even though it's not too eccentric. So I like it. It has four antennas. Hopefully all of them work and none of them is just uh, for design. We'll see about that when I'm get the occasion to unplug them, if they're unpluggable. And uh, let's see what they brag about. They brag about a three-year warranty, which is pretty reasonable. Routers don't break that much, so it should be all right. Even for more than three years, maybe like 10. Usually routers get outdated by age, not by the warranty or by them breaking. So it has Wi-Fi 6. Uh, that goes up to 1.5 gigabits, which in megabytes is, you guessed it, 1,500. So the name is a derivative of the speed that it can actually process per second. It can connect with uh, it can connect with lots of devices. This is really cool, especially if you're building a smart home as I am building because uh, I'm gonna have lots of devices, so not just laptops and phones. My washing machine connects to the router, my... Uh, also my like uh, outlets, Alexa connects to them, so lots and lots of devices. Uh, it has beamforming, so what this does, it creates a direct connection between the router and the device, so it doesn't make that uh, ball, I could say, that sphere of Wi-Fi. It also makes a direct connection between them, like it focuses signal in a direction. We'll see if that's true, because I really think this is some marketing stuff, as is the next uh, characteristic, the fact that it has a tri-core processor. Of course, there are custom processors, there are small processors, it's nothing compared to what you have in uh, your computer. But it's a cool fact that it has a different processor, maybe it processes, it should process three threads at a time. So when it comes to deciding how to route the data, it's not just one processor who's overloaded with all the requests. There are three processors that uh, change uh, tasks between them. What also, what also? So it says that it has a gigabit Wi-Fi network. That's cool. Usually you wouldn't be able to go more than 300 megabits. So really impressive. And five ports for gigabit LAN. That should be enough for a house if you want to go with uh, a cable in every room. Four should be enough. If you need more, you can always buy a switch. So it goes up to 300 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz. So basically a Wi-Fi N router. But on 5 gigahertz, it goes to more than a gigabyte, so it goes to 1200 megabits. So the 1.5 megabit connection that they're saying about, it's only like locally, between two devices locally, because, or on wired connection, because Wi Fi doesn't support it, though it's pretty close. Uh, so, enough with the talk, let's see what's in here as well. So the specs, but in more languages. I'm gonna leave this here so you can pause the video if you want to see them. So it is explaining how everything works. All right. And in here are the features as well. Again, let's see if I can Put them like this so you can pause the video if you want to read them. Lots of uh, readout on here, really lots of them. 
and here it says the ports that you can use to control the router and the buttons. This has been quite a long story, so <laughs> let's crack this box open, all right? And let's see where I can open it without breaking anything, without destroying the box. Let's go. So the box looks like this. This is shiny, so uh, a really cool effect. This feels like it's outside of the box because the rest is not shiny. And let's see in here. A really weird box to open. Where do you open? All right, so in here. It isn't that intuitive. So. This is what's inside the box. Lots of paperwork. So let's see what's this. This is a Wi Fi card. How to connect to Wi Fi 6. Quick installation guide. Some disposable, how to dispose of the router. I don't know what this is. I have some legal print in lots of languages. Public licensing notice. Hmm. I need to read this to see if there is anything interesting in here. And a quick installation guide. Inside a brick that charges the router, so it's pretty small. It should fit in a plug without blocking any other ports of the plug. And the router itself, which is pretty thin. Let's get it out of the anti-static bag. So out it goes. And this is the router. Ah, it's gonna get so dirty with the difference. <laughs> but this is the router. It's really small and it's really thin. Uh, that's great actually and we should expect this because like I think in the future firms will have Wi-Fi 6 and they have to get all this tech but in the form size of phone with all the other connections so I think this is actually way bigger than it's supposed to be but yeah so in the front the LEDs a vent it's a passive vent so I don't think it has any cooling, like an actual fan. Uh, in front, the logo and this fingerprint magnet. The antennas, it has four antennas. So uh, you can orient them in lots of ways. So you have the best connection. And also on the back, there are the ports. So the reset of the Wi-Fi and the reset of the router. Four LAN connections. The input for the router, the power plug, the power button, and yeah, the four antennas, which uh, they don't really seem to be removable. Yeah, they're not. And in the box, a really cool addition, a uh, cable. Let's see, this is 5V, so it's capable of gigabit speeds. Pretty disappointed that this is not uh, category six, but it should be enough. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a long unboxing with lots of speaking to do because there are lots of specs in here and I think you guys are interested in them. If you want to see more videos from me, 
please click the subscribe button and see you for future unboxings and even for a review for this if i get enough time to check out the settings and to tell you what's going out for this little fellow right guys have a great day